All right, what's up, Blender Savages? So today, we're gonna make mesh, react to audio. Boom, dance, dance, baby, dance. Let's get it. All right. Uh, so to do this, you're gonna want to have lots of vertices. If you want lots of waves, uh, we're gonna use a displacement modifier, displace modifier, and wherever you see the vertices, wherever there's vertices, the mesh will blend, will bend along the vertices. So here's a plane, I have lots of vertices there. If I have less vertices, there'll be less of these waves or the waves will look a little more uh, uh, squarish. All right, so I'm gonna delete my cube here. I'm bring in a plane, shift A, mesh, plane. I'm gonna scale it up, so how big do I make this plane? I'm gonna make it eight times bigger. S, eight, enter, there we go, let me zoom out. I'm going to take it edit mode, and then I'm going to subdivide it. Tab key, edit mode. I'm going to right click it, subdivide. And I get this menu down here. Quickly go down here. And number of cuts, I'm going to change that to 10. All right, 10 cuts. Actually, doesn't look like a lot. Let me subdivide it further. Let me try 50. There you go, 50 looks good. All right, 50 cuts. Uh, the more the better, the smoother the animation, but also uh, that's more vertices your computer has to remember. Right now I have uh, 2,704 vertices and uh, it might be overwhelming for your computer. So I'm gonna stick to that right there. All right, so looks good. Now I'm gonna apply the, uh, the modifier. So I'm gonna go to the modifiers here on the properties panel. It's the blue wrench. Click on add modifier and displace right here. Under the, the, the form column. Second from right, click on displace. There we go, displace. It's already displacing this, it went up. All right, and I'm gonna use a texture. It's gonna displace uh, along to the texture, so I'm gonna click on you. You can also bring in a height map, on those black and white grayscale images. But if not, um, you can just use the built-in textures from Blender. Uh, you can go down here to textures, or you can also just click on this icon right here, it's the properties panel icon and it's gonna take you over to textures. And now we're gonna choose a type of texture. So I'm gonna click over here on type, uh, image removing, that's for the grayscale images, the height maps. I'm gonna choose one of the blender ones here. Uh, these uh, will have different effects. For instance, if I go with wood, it's gonna have the uh, the bands that you see in wood, it'll bend in that in that matter. Uh, marble, it'll bend like in, the, like in the bands, the patterns you see in marble. I'm gonna go over with, uh, blend's gonna be really boring. I'm gonna go with the clouds. Usually this is used to make things like clouds or smoke. There we go. There we go. And it gives you a preview here of what it'll kind of look like based on the information there. It reads that. So if something is black, it's going to be really low. Something's white is really high. Let me show you wood right here. See, there we go. So that's like the bands you see in wood. Uh, Veroni. There's Veroni. That's for cells. Make uh, organic things. Uh, but I'm going to go with clouds. There you go. I like that one. Uh, looks really rough. I'm going to smooth it out. So I'm going to right click it and shade smooth. There we go. Looks smoother now. I still don't like the how rough it looks. I'm going to go back to edit mode. And I'm going to subdivide it again. There we go. Tab key. Looks a little smoother now. All right. And now I'm going to go get a song. I'm going to go over to Google. Sorry, I'm going to go to YouTube. The YouTube audio library. YouTube.com forward slash audio library music and it'll take me here so this is a youtube audio library if you do not have a youtube account it's going to ask you to sorry if you're not logged into your youtube account it's going to ask you to log in if you don't have a youtube account it's the same as google you can use your google account your gmail and you can log in and i can use the filters here and i can find a song genre alternative punk uh ambient children cinematic uh classical music uh, whatever these are all all these songs are free to use some of them, they're gonna require you to give them a shout out. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna download that one right there. But um, you can filter here by the mood, by the instruments, how long the song is, uh, attri uh, attributions, attribution. So some of them you might have to uh, give them an, uh, an attribution. I'm gonna click right here to download it, down button. I can also just search for a song here as well. So all these are free to use. I can uh, use these commercially as well, not just for educational purposes. 
But if uh, somebody wants an attribution, let's check that out right now. There we go. Let me click on this one. There you go. So you have to give this person credit right here. Feel free to use this song in any of your videos, but you must include the following in your video description. So you would just copy and paste this and give them credit for creating the song. Uh, all this stuff too, even though it's free to use, cannot take credit for creating these songs. You do not create those songs. You can use them, but you cannot uh, say that you wrote the song. Not at all. All right, so I'm going to go back over to Blender. I'm going to bring this up right here, the timeline panel. I'm going to hover my mouse between the dividing point between the timeline and 3D viewport. Get the double sided arrow, pull it up. There we go. So I got my timeline panel here. I'm going to click on the editor type icon right here. That's the icon for timeline. And I'm going to switch over to graph editor right here. Graph editor. Cool. So there's a graph right there for my animation. I'm forgetting one step. I got to go over here to modifier. Right here says strength. Make sure I'm frame one to use your timeline cursor. Make sure I'm frame one. There we go. I'm going to insert a keyframe for this so I can animate the animation. So you can have the mouse in there. You can hit the I key I for insert, and it'll insert a keyframe. Or you can also right click it. And you can insert a keyframe. There we go. Cool. So there you go. So there's my animation. There's nothing going on. If I hit the space bar, it'll start the animation. There's nothing for it to animate. So that's the graph for the animation. Just still because there's nothing going on. So I want it to, uh, to move with the audio. So make sure you're on frame one. I'm going to click on key. And then bake sound to F curves. So an F curve is just what they call their curves here. And I want it to, uh, I want to bake the sound to it so that it's going to follow the sound wave of the audio I'm going to bring in. Bake sound to F curves. Here we go. And now I need to uh, bring in that song. But I uh, forgot to put that song somewhere out of the downloads folder because I cannot access the downloads folder here in Blender. So I know it downloaded here, the lower left. So I'm going to put that on the, desk, on the desktop. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the desktop. Out of my way. Out of my way. All right. Drag and drop. Cool. All right. So now it's on the desktop. So I can access it here. So I'm going to click on this top here, and it's got to look for the song in here. There it is, Regrets. Downloaded it today. Double click it in. Cool. So you see now it uh, deformed the graph there. So now it's going to react to the audio. There we go. Cool. So now it's uh, reacting to the audio. You don't hear the audio. You just you just see it changing shapes. Now i got to do something else to hear the audio. I'm going to pause that. I do, I'm just hitting space bar. So with the space bar, you can... You can hit play and you can pause it. Back to frame one. Make sure you're on frame one. I want to synchronize the sound wave with the actual audio. So now I'm going to go over to, uh, I can go here or here. It's going to go to the top one here. So this is a 3D viewport editor type. I am going to switch over to video sequencer. There we go. Frame one. And I'm going to bring in my audio here. Shift A. You can also click on add right here. And then go to sound. And I'm going to find that same song, desktop, make sure all on frame one. And right there, regrets, double click it in. Cool. So I've hit the play button. I'll be able to hear the song. So back to frame one. So you tell my cursor, I'm just holding down the left mouse button and dragging. All right, switch over to the timeline panel down here. And this one's going to go back to the 3D viewport. 3D viewport. There we go, let me bring this down. All right, cool. Play button, what I got there. Cool. All right, I want to change the background here. I'm going to go to world and the color. I'm going to change it to just black, just pitch black there. There we go. And I'm going to go over to render so I can see it, the render viewport shader. Let alone, there it is. There's my plane. Uh, it's like this gray color. I can leave it gray or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to color it actually. I'm going to go to materials, new. Now I'm going to give it a color, base color. I'm going to go with uh, the reddish color here. Cool. I'm going to go down to metallic. I want to make it shiny. Increase uh, metallic there. Increase specular. All right. So I hit the play button. So there we go. Looks pretty crazy. I'm going to go over here to rendered. I'm going to activate uh, ambient occlusion. Give me some, some shadows. <clears throat> I'm going to activate blue. Going to give me a good glow there. And motion blur. Let's see there. All right. So I can leave it like that with the default 
light that I have here. I'm trying to select, can't see it's dark. So I'm gonna go over here to the outliner. Click on light. There we go. And I'm gonna change it to sun. Just watch this glow right here. All right, so select the light. I couldn't find the light here, so I wanted the outline. The outliner, click on uh, light there. And then I select the light data, the light data here. It's point light, I'm gonna switch over to sun. Boom, tense. All right, really bright. I can leave it like that. Kind of looks like human tissue, some sort of organ. I'm going to bring down the strength to 100. See how that looks. Looks a little better. I'm going to bring it down further. Let me try 50. Let me try 10. There we go. Now it's got to find an angle that I like. So you may want to go from here. I mean, you can zoom out by spinning the wheel on the third mouse button. You can hold down the shift key and push down the middle mouse button, the third mouse button, the spinner, and you can do a pan. See from try to see from there, different angles. I'm gonna go with something like that. And now I'm gonna make this my camera view. It's gonna be control alternate zero. Bam, all right, maybe you want the camera further back. Meet send for top view. She zoom out, cheaper for grab, put it back over here. See for camera view, cool. I uh, already have the camera here selected. I can also select it here. I'm in G for grab, so I can grab the camera. Move my mouse up, and I'll put it like something like right here somewhere. Left click there. All right. So that's just the view I'm gonna go with. Uh, you can go with like a top view from up here. Oh, went backwards. It looks pretty creepy. You see the bottom of that? There's not much light there. Look at it from the bottom. Go straight up, just one for front view here. There you go. So whatever you're, whatever you're comfortable with. All right. And then to render this, usually you just go over to um, change it from file format to PNG. Sorry, from file format, change it to AVI JPEG for video. But for the audio, you're gonna have to change something else, a codec, so you can get the audio in there too. So you have to go to FFmpeg video here. File format, change it to FFmpeg video. Go down here to encoding, open that up. And then right here, audio codec. No audio, you're gonna change it over to AAC. There you go. So now it'll record the audio in there as well. And you wanna choose a location for it to export to, to render your video. Uh, that's a temp folder. Uh, not a lot of people have trouble finding that. So I'm just gonna go right here on the folder and select desktop so I can quickly find it later. All right. Red, uh, red beat. I guess I'll name it that. Accept, and then control 12 letter render, and just wait it out. Depending like on your, depending on your computer power, it might take a while for it to render. Uh, there's other things you can do to this as well. You can play around with uh, other mesh objects. So here I have a cylinder. And I, uh, I didn't subdivide it, subdivide you won't get this. I added loop cuts in here, and then I added insets in here or extrusion and scales. And let's check that out. There we go. So this one for the displace, everything there is the same. But down here in texture, I went with blend and changed progression to quadratic and orientation to vertical. Then over here I have a sphere. I did in a subdivided further, but for texture, I chose noise. And then for the displace modifier, add the direction on the Z axis. And I get something like this, kind of looks like a, like a Hadouken. And then over here, I have a torus. And the torus already has lots of geometry there. And then for that one, there's no texture. That's just with the displace modifier, but we can add texture to it. We can change its appearance there. Blend, there we go, looks kind of weird. Clouds, Let's try wood, there we go. And I can change the direction of that too. Maybe I want to go along the Y axis. Click on normal here, change it to Y. There we go. Cool, so there you go. You can try different mesh objects. You can even try the monkey head. You can play around with the textures.
and the direction there. Uh, if you know how to create vertex routes, you can do that as well. Let me uh, show you one example of that. So here I'm going to select my cylinder, and then I'm going to select everything on top here. There we go. I'm going to go over here to the uh, mesh data, click on vertex routes, I'll sign there. I'm going to name this one cylinder top, and then click assign. All right, so that's my vertex group there. Back to object mode. Displace, got that one selected there, vertex group, cylinder top. And so now, uh, that'll be the only vertices getting displaced there. See, there we go. So it's not liking that one too much. Let me try a different uh, thing here, clouds. There we go. Distorted noise. Magic. Is it still along the Z axis? I forgot to check that part. Let's see. Let's go with Z axis. Oh, it just goes up and down. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Wood. Roni. Try to blend again. All right, there's blend again. And I can play around with these here as well. Easy. Spherical. Radio. Cool. Look stairs. All right. So there you have it, folks. Have an awesome day. Take care.